In this video, I want to show you how to connect your Google Sheets to your Power BI reports using the new Google Sheets connector. We're going to go through it step by step together and also why you should use this instead of the web connector. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So this video is an updated version to the one that I created actually a couple months back where I showed you guys how you can connect your Power BI reports to your Google Sheets online using the web connector. So in that video, I showed you how easy it is to connect your Google Sheets in your Power BI report using the web connector. However, it comes with its own unique problems. So one problem that it had is that for the web connector to work, you need to set the Google Sheets to be public. Uh, for the Power BI connector to get data from that sheets into your Power BI report. And it sort of becomes a problem if you're working with sensitive data that you don't want to be publicly available or at least secured uh, when you're using it with your Power BI reports. However, this month, I mean, November 2021's feature update actually includes a native Power BI connector for Google Sheets. So you don't really need to use the web connector anymore. More. So first I want to show you something. Here we have uh, data that I created in Google Sheets. Um, it's just some simple uh, sample training data um, that I stored here that I want to bring into my Power BI report. Now, as you can see, it's sensitive, so we kind of don't want this sheet to be uh, changed to uh, public. So we want to keep it uh, for me to be able to access and that's it and we want to bring this into Power BI. So let's try to use the new native connector to bring this data in. So we're gonna open a new Power BI report here in Power BI Desktop. I'm gonna go to Get Data. And from here, um, instead of clicking Web here, we're gonna go More. I'm gonna wait here. So from here, you're gonna have a lot of options for you to connect your data uh, from. We're gonna say we want to get data from Google Sheets. So it's in beta at the moment, which is fine. So we just give us a warning saying that this is a preview connector. So as I mentioned, it just came out uh, in the November 2021 update. So uh, there's some warning here, but don't worry about that. We'll just click continue. And then here it asks for the URL. So the URL would be what we get here. So we'll just copy this. There we go. Click OK. And here comes the authentication. So because the authentication now needs to happen in Power BI. So we're going to click sign in here and it's going to say to me, uh, OK, so you are Fernando Espejo who has access to this uh, training data in Google Sheets. So now that we've authenticated ourselves, we hit connect here and give it a few seconds. And here you go. So this is the sheet that we have in Google Sheets. So we simply just take that and hit load data. Give a few seconds. And here we go. So we now have the Google Sheets data into our Power BI report connected really, really easily using the new native connector. So as you notice, instead of making the Google Sheets public, we just had to authenticate it in Power BI, which is a better and more secure way for getting your data uh, from Google Sheets into your Power BI reports. However, you're probably wondering at this point, why go through all this trouble? Why don't I just paste that data into my Power BI report uh, and save me all this trouble? So the reasons that I gave in my old video a uh, couple of months back still sort of applies uh, in this context. So to just reiterate them. So first of all, it makes it easy to make changes to your data. Um, not just for you, but for your users and customers. Uh, they, if they have access to the Google Sheets data, they can just add new employees there or change 
wrong data. Uh, it makes it really easy for them to make changes to the Power BI report without actually touching it at all. The second thing is that your data is online, which makes it always available and sort of not stuck in someone else's local machine. This also means that Power BI can easily connect to your data source uh, and not have to create data gateways in order to make the connection. This allows for an easier experience when it comes to setting up automatic data refresh for your report. The third thing is that data governance is made easier this way. So think about this. If you store all your uh, data in Google Sheets and you manage the security of who has access to these sheets within Google Sheets itself, if a person who has access to a sheet leaves the company and you want to remove their access, with a web connector, you won't be able to control that because you've made your uh, sheet public. I, it will either break the reports or it will uh, destroy your connections uh, if you make it private. So this authentication method allows Power BI to inherit the securities that you have given to those sheets. So this way, if you have a person who is leaving the company, you can simply just remove them from the access list from Google Sheets the same way that you do. And if they try to access the Power BI report in the future, they won't be able to do so. And that's really it. This is quite a short video, but I hope that helped you understand uh, how easy it is to start using the new native Google Sheets connector in Power BI. So if you're still using the web connector that I explained in the past, uh, consider changing to this one instead. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.